So this is the sun between the rain. Really nice morning here. It's been quite warm. Overnight lows, uh, mid 40s, uh, 50 degrees. And a lot of rain the last few days. Here is my yellow gum. Uh, it's eucalyptus subgranulata that has discolored with the cool weather. It's kind of turned this brownish color and I don't remember doing it before, but it seems to be uh, still pushing out a little bit of growth. Actually, it looks like a little bit of damage on the tip on the new growing points. And that's a Fatsahedra, which is a cross between English Ivy and Fatsia. It's just a, a variegated form. It's kind of a scrambler. Uh, it does need support. It'll grow up to a certain point and it just kind of flops down. Some rotos in here. Um, I think this is a Pivosporum, uh, Squiggly Wiggly. Should get about five or six feet. Just a big uh, flax. <clears throat> some ferns, some hellebores, some. Uh, more for tassel ferns back in there. They really suffer during the summer. I try and keep them watered, but it, sometimes it's a losing battle. And this is the big um, uh, Metapanix, Flavii, some more Fatsia. These are the uh, Microspadex Camadoria. This is what I always see on the old fronds in the wintertime. They always look crappy, and even these newer ones are starting to show some wear. Yeah, and even the spear. So I don't think that's the best palm for our location. They grow, but I uh, can't say too much. Radicalis down there, Camadori radicalis, is, uh, these are doing a lot better, although that one looks like it's taking some damage from something. I don't know if a bird's been in there. A little sable palmetto. Rahi armada, which is Seems to be doing okay. I don't see any real spotting on the leaves, so I'm kind of surprised other than this one, but it always kind of kills off the oldest leaf when the new spear comes out. Some more rhodos, some more tassel ferns. These are the red, the red rhododendrons. Hawaiian roses, and the other one's uh, cherry merlot. Uh, Jubea chilensis, which I've been watching it, and it's actually still been growing slowly. But that spear has still been pushing out. Variegated um, Abutilon. And one of the plants I'm most excited about, although it doesn't look like much, this is a Metrosideros uh, umbellata, I believe. This is a, uh, it's known as a Pahutakawa or a New Zealand Christmas tree. It's from a um, much, uh, much colder place, I believe, on the South Island. So, uh, doing well so far. There's Nothopanix, David Eye, I believe. Um, some more Fatsia, which are just kind of there to hide the fence. And then back in there is a Tasmanian tree fern. Uh, I've never protected it. And uh, it's, it's grown quite a bit. I almost feel like maybe there's two, two of them in there. Oregon grape starting to flower. The Trachycarpus uh, triple that's finally decided to grow this year. And then back tucked in behind it is one of my more experimental palms, and that's Livestone and Antita, which looks flawless. Really good, actually. Uh, it, the growth has slowed down quite a bit. That sphere's been opening for a while now. But still trucking along, no damage. <clears throat> And these are just uh, fuchsias that are kind of on their way out. They'll uh, we'll trim these back in the spring and then they'll flush out nice fresh new growth again. They are deciduous. Um, that little thing there is a Chilean fire tree. Uh, M, M, I think it's Ambothrium coccineum. Uh, they don't look like much. They're kind of a tricky one to get um, to take. That one seems to be holding on, so that's good. And I got one other one that's kind of hidden in here. These fatsias grew a lot this year. I put it in here because I wanted to kind of 
um, let it establish and grow a bit uh, get some size and eventually it should grow out it you know it'll it'll outpace the fats yeah this is a uh, turkey carpus latissectus and this is my uh, kiwi shrub pseudopanix latus which um, apparently will grow into a small tree i'll get close to the second window there so pretty cool plant big leaves the new ones are a lighter color it does have um, some small flowers and over here a lot of the same plants uh, here's a rice paper plant steroidal giant with uh, all the leaves gone they are deciduous in our climate a little uh, trachycarpus uh, wagnerianus and this plant here is um, uh, it's related to raspberries. I can't remember the name right now. I think it's from uh, Tibet. And then the big um, Schifflera, the Lavii. It's coming along. That's the spent flower stock. And uh, here is my lone Trechicarpus tequil, which I transplanted. And uh, it's been growing pretty steadily. Um, it did not seem to be set back too much and I think this year it's really going to take off. I'm going to trim that fuchsia back from it. Got a needle palm back in there and then uh, it's kind of tough to see. Well, we got all these holly ferns which are actually putting out new growth. But this big fern back in here, that's a giant Pacific chain fern. Um, can get up to six feet. Once these palms uh, start to lose their lower fronds, that'll I think they'll fill in that area nicely. I have a spot I'm actually going to put another one. And then I got uh, one of my biggest uh, trachycarpus. Uh, it's, this one always looks a lot different to me than the rest. Definitely has a different growth habit. So I don't know if this is more like a Nova. Uh, it was just bought um, out of a maybe a hundred. There's a hundred of them and, and this one stood out to me it looked a lot different than the rest so I bought it and uh, I mean it just had staggering growth I think this year it's put on about three feet of trunk whereas this one not so not so much uh, I have videos on it but um, you can kind of see where the trunk is on this one and you shoot across and you keep going up they were the same size when they were planted and then I got some uh, autumn fern so in the spring, this will start pushing out uh, orange or like copper colored leaves. And then I got a big guy, Eucalyptus neglecta, which really exploded. Unbelievable growth on it. Some monias, some bamboos. Here's another Eucalyptus, this is uh, um, Passiflora to Nyphophila. And then over here, some Himalayan sweet box and some uh, Formium and another Trachycarpus wagnerianus. And then I got my, uh, I think this is Cherry Sensation. I don't think they even had anything um, labeled on them, but uh, these are uh, Cordyline Australis. And uh, I've had these for a couple of years now. You can see they got a little bit of a trunk on them. These ones you don't really see big that often. I saw a couple down at the coast that had uh, maybe three or four feet of trunk. So I'm curious to see um, if these end up looking or growing the same habit as the regular green ones because uh, the green ones when they get big they look pretty cool so anyway, here's kind of a, just a, a look back at this area so slowly getting jungly I'm really looking forward to the day that I get some taller trees showing up in that area um, and the fence disappears because my goal is not to see the fence anywhere. So, hope you're having a great Sunday morning and uh, I guess welcome 2021.